So far, we've been using logical operators with expressions, like is 3 less than 5, or is 6 greater than 1. But then, in addition to our logical operators, we have all these comparisons to keep track of. Another good way to see how logical operators work is to use them in combination directly with the values true or false. So instead of checking is 6 greater than 1, which is true, I'll just write the value true in its place. And any other comparison you come across can be simplified to true or false as well. And I can use these values with logical operators. Let's take the not operator, which is an exclamation point, as an example. The code not, 6 greater than 1, is the equivalent of this code, not true. Because the expression 6 greater than 1 evaluates to the Boolean value of true. And both expressions evaluate to false because the not operator turns whatever Boolean value it operates on into its opposite value. So not true becomes false, and not false becomes true. Next, let's look at the AND operator. For the AND operator, true and true will evaluate to true, but false and true will evaluate to false. And this is because the AND operator needs both of its combined conditions to be true for the whole expression to evaluate to true. So if just one or both of its combined conditions are false, then the whole AND combination will also be false. It might be helpful to think of how logical operators like an AND can be applied to real-life scenarios. Let's take the weather as an example. Let's say that if it's sunny AND raining outside, then this will create a rainbow. So if it's true that it's sunny AND it's true that it's raining, we'll create a rainbow. But if only one of these conditions is true, like if it's only sunny, then no rainbow will be created. Same goes for if it's only raining. And if neither condition is true, then still no rainbow will be created. The only way a rainbow is created is if both sunny and raining conditions are true. And this is like how an AND operator works to produce a true value. For an AND expression that combines two test conditions, both of its conditions must be true for the whole expression to evaluate to true. And in any other case, the expression will evaluate to false. The OR operator is a little different. The OR operator only needs one of its two combined conditions to be met for it to be true. So true or true evaluates to true, and so does false or true. And that's because at least one of its combined expressions is true in both cases. Only if both conditions it combines are false will this whole expression be false. To understand an OR operator a little better, think about if you're trying to power and use your laptop. For your laptop to work, it needs to get power either from a charged battery or from a power outlet. If both of these conditions are true, if it has a charged battery and it's plugged into a power outlet, your laptop should work. Your laptop will also work if only one of the conditions is true, like if it's only working off of a charged battery. And it will also be powered if you're only using a power outlet, but your battery isn't charged. The only time the laptop won't get any power and won't work is when both conditions are false, when it doesn't have access to a charged battery or a power outlet. And this is like how the OR operator works. Just like your laptop can get power from a battery or a power outlet, an OR combination will be true if one or both of the conditions it combines are also true. And only if both tests it combines are false will it be false. So now we understand how ANDs and ORs work, but what if we combine these into longer tests? Here's a longer expression that uses an AND and an OR operator. This could be read false and true or true. What do you think this evaluates to? In this case, Java will first look at the conditions that are tied together with ANDs, and then it will move on to conditions tied together with ORs. This is the order of operations for logical operators. So it will look at our false and true combo first and say this will evaluate to false because an AND operator requires both of its combined conditions to be true before its combination will evaluate to true. So this expression is equivalent to a false value. And what remains is a simplified version of our first expression, false or true. And we know that an OR only needs one of its combined conditions to be true to evaluate to true. So this whole expression evaluates to true. And remember these two are equivalent, so our first larger expression also evaluates to true. But what if we wanted to evaluate the OR combination first, the true or true part? To override the order of operations and make this OR combination evaluate first, we can surround that part of the expression in parentheses. And Java will always execute code in parentheses before anything else. So this same check, but with parentheses around the OR, will be read differently. 
In this case, Java looks at what's in the parentheses first, true or true. And since at least one of these two conditions is true, in fact both of them are true, this OR combination evaluates to true. And these conditions simplify to false and true. And because one of these conditions is false and they're combined with an AND, this whole expression evaluates to false. So even though these two expressions look very similar, the order of operations makes a difference. Logical operators make the most sense when you get used to them with practice. So let's take a look at more combinations in the next quiz.